INSEAD runs a pretty unique applications process. If you haven't realized by now, they have two interviews, not just one. That just shows us how much importance they place on the interviews and serious applicants should really prep for them. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to prep for the INSEAD interview. And we're going to break that down into three steps. The first one is discussing what is INSAD style. The second one, we'll talk about what are the questions that they usually ask. And the third one, we're going to talk about how you should answer these questions. At the end of this video, if you feel like you've gotten some value from it, please hit like. And make sure to subscribe so that you're up to date with videos on any other MBA program you might be applying to. When discussing INSAD's interview style, there are three things you should keep in mind. The first one is that interviews are done by alumni. What that means is that the interviews are generally very friendly. However, you should be ready for any kind of surprise because quality control in these interviews, since they're not done by admissions per se, is quite spotty. For example, we've had applicants tell us that the interview was all about their personal life, which is pretty unusual for an MBA interview. The third thing to keep in mind about the interview is that it is not blind. Your interviewer or interviewers will have had access to your essays, your letters of recommendation, and your grade transcripts. Now let's move on to the type of questions you'll be asked at the INSEAD interview. We can also break this down into three parts. First of all, you'll be asked motivation questions, then behavioral type questions, and finally probing questions. Motivation questions are the bread and butter of MBA interviews and INSEAD is no exception. So you should be ready to answer questions about why do you want an MBA? Why do you want an MBA at INSEAD? Why do you want an MBA at INSEAD now? When it comes to the behavioral questions, your interviewer wants to see how you react under certain circumstances. And you need to back that up with examples from your past, either career or personal. INSEAD is particularly proud about their diverse cohorts. So be ready to answer questions that speak to that, how you've dealt with people from diverse backgrounds. The last type of question you'll have to answer is the probing question. Remember, interviews at INSEAD are not blind. That means that both interviewers will have access to your entire application, your essays and your curriculum. So make sure you're ready to answer questions about anything that might seem unusual in your curriculum or application in general. For example, if there's a gap in your employment history, the interviewer will want to know why. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's talk about how we're going to answer these questions. We're going to break that down into three stages, the visual, vocal, and verbal. The visual component, unsurprisingly, is everything that your interviewer can see on you and around you. The vocal component is how you come across, the words coming out of your mouth, how they sound to your interviewer. And the verbal component is what you're saying to the interviewer. And you'll be pleased to know that I did not come up with this myself. All this is based off years of research from psychology professor Albert Moravian, who spent all of his career studying how people communicate. And I've got some more good news. To prep for your interview, there's only one way to really get the confidence and calm you need to do well. Practice, practice, and more practice. And Voomer is a great way to practice. Voomer is an online AI-powered platform where you can practice over and over at your own time and at your own pace. Our AI-powered technology allows you to get immediate feedback and improve very quickly. You can start prepping on Voomer for free today. So after you finish watching this video, make sure to go check it out. Let's go back to our three V's and we'll start with visual. So the first thing we're going to work on in visual is your background. You have to be aware of your background in a virtual interview. You don't want a virtual background and you really don't want to show a cluttered room if you're not going to use just a blank wall like I am. If you have to be at your kitchen table or in your bedroom on your virtual interview, that is fine. Admissions understands that not everybody has access to a nice clean office. The only thing you should really pay attention in your kitchen or bedroom is that your background be organized. They don't want to see a cluttered mess behind you. The second thing you want to be aware of on your virtual interview is your personal appearance. Just pretend that this is a regular face-to-face -face interview at an office. That means business casual and having your hair more or less in order. Just don't roll out of bed five minutes before the interview starts. The third thing is lighting. It's very hard for admissions to make a personal connection with you if you're covered in shadows. So make sure you put some lamps behind your camera so that your face is very well illuminated. Last but not least, when it comes to visual, 
you want to talk directly into the camera. You don't have to talk into the camera all the time because it really feels a little bit weird. But if you have something particularly important that you want to say, make sure you move up your eyes to where the camera is and you say that looking at the camera and not at the screen. If you're not sure where your camera is, a really easy way to do that is to move your thumb around your screen and you'll find out where the camera is as soon as this happens. Just make sure you do that before the interview and not during the interview. All right, now let's move on to our second V, vocal. The first component in vocal is tone. Nobody wants to listen to somebody who speaks like this all the time. They'll probably go to sleep and remember, admissions has been listening to people talk all day long. So they're pretty tired too. So make sure you vary your tone up and down to keep admissions engaged with what you're saying. The second component of vocal is pauses. Pauses are a great way to wake up your interviewer and draw them into your conversation. They also help to emphasize certain parts of your answer, which really need to be driven home. Just make sure you don't overuse pauses. Once or twice during the length of the entire interview is more than enough. Last but not least in vocal, we have filler words. Filler words are acceptable up to a certain degree, but many people overuse them. The way to eliminate filler words is for you to record yourself and then play that video back. That way you'll really notice how much you're using filler words. And remember, you can use Voomer to record yourself as many times as you like to get rid of those filler words. All right, we're at our last V, verbal. Remember, this is the actual meaning of the words that you're using when you communicate with your interviewer. We already talked about what type of questions will be asked. So now let's discuss how to structure those answers. Fortunately, there's a really simple way to structure your answers, and that's the CAR method. Context, action, result. You always start with context. And what you're doing here is setting the scene for your interviewer. Place them there. So talk about what the situation was, who are the players involved, and what was not satisfactory about what was going on. Now in action, you want to tell the interviewer what you did to remedy the situation. Not your manager, not your team, not the people that report to you, what you did. Talking about what the team did or what your manager did is a very common mistake. But remember, those people aren't applying for an MBA. You are, and admissions wants to hear about you. In results, guess what you're gonna talk about? the results of the actions that you took. Here, it really helps if you bring up data that supports how effective your actions were. Have data on a few of your success stories readily available or memorized, because believe me, it will come in handy. Congratulations, you've learned a lot about interview prep technique today. Now, the only thing that's missing is for you to practice, practice, and then practice a little more. Voomer will help you improve on all these points we discussed and more for free, you can start practicing today. So go to tryvoomer.com and find out how much you can improve your interview skills with our AI powered platform. If you got some value out of this video, please hit like. Also make sure to subscribe so that you're up to date with information on all the other MBA programs you might be applying to. Thank you very much for your time and good luck.